Now today we got to ride our R1 cross plane on some damp and wet roads. I thought it had really rained the night before and I thought the roads were going to dry up because our temps were already in the 90s early but you can see the roads here. They're just a sample and because this this motorcycle has no traction control I, uh, I'm always a little skeptical about getting too cute about it. I'd rather have it raining because then the roads are equally wet. This is on and off again traction. Well, now today the weather was supposed to be in the 90s. <laughs> it's almost 90 now. I haven't even got out on the open road. I can't believe how hot it's going to be. So I'm going to get through. We, Karen actually decided we're going to postpone doing our perp walk, our morning perp walk going through the garden. We'll wait till tonight. But I want to get out on the open road as early as possible. I wish I was already out there already. Okay guys, it's too hot to argue with me this morning and don't splash me. You wanted hot weather, you got hot weather so you can go to the beach. Now today because the roads are damp, the bike's going to be dirty when I get home. I'll have to redo this again. But I still want to start off the day with some wax on the bike. Now we're ready to go practice our wet road skill. Birds, you know I don't forget to feed you in the summer. Summer, winter, fall, I'm a four season <laughs> feed the bird guy. In today's harvest we have a, another Zucchini Zillow. We actually have a baby Zucchini Zillow there. <laughs> Here's the average size of a tomato. Look at the size of that Zucchini. Amazing. Look at this. They just get bigger and healthier every day. It's amazing. Just amazing. Well, the final check of the weather. Karen just told me 93 by lunchtime. Still cloudy though and the roads are still wet. Oh, my driveway's wet anyway. That's usually not a good combo. That means some part of the ride we're going to be riding around on wet roads. And this bike has no traction control. I see even the driveway is wet from this overnight rain we had. We've been having overnight rain every night. So we'll have a few wet roads and I hope a lot of nice dry ones. But it's really getting hot already. The sound of cross plane music to start the day. Kids are taking miles to the beach today. She belongs to a swim club. Wow, this is a day I wish I would belong to a swim club. Oh yeah, yeah. And while the kids are at the beach today, I was just thinking, boy, oh boy, I'm, I'm really cooking out here, and and we're at the the beginning part of this ride. I'm really going to get cooked pretty good today. So far, just getting hotter by the minute. I I can't believe how hot it is today, wow. Well, it's a lot cooler in the shade, but you know what? You can't have the whole ride in the shade. At some point in time out in this farming country, <laughs> there aren't trees covering the road. And then it really just gets hotter and hotter. And 
matter where I ride this bike, every time I ride it, I like it more than the time before. 12 years old, it runs better than a new bike. Now, one of the things that makes this bike very special to me is the mechanical, business-like sound of the engine while you're actually riding the bike. The sound that comes out of that cowling is great. aren't even out yet today. Oh, I guess we're out pretty early this morning. There's always some lilies out here, beautiful yellow lilies. A nice little photo stop on the right. Another thing that makes this bike uh, just a little more interesting to ride than most when you back off the gas at a relatively high RPM, it just sounds like, like an Indy car. I don't know. It's, at least it sounds that way when you're riding a... cemetery here. Wow. I ride on a main road and tucked away. There's a little cemetery. Look at some of the dates on this. 1886. Wow. Pretty cool. And it's right on a main road. You'd never even see it. I can't believe it. Wow. This is really right on a main road too. And you'd ride right by it if you didn't know it was there. Now, almost every ride I go on, it's just hard to explain. I, especially with that slower pace today, I happen to see something I didn't see the time before. Just getting hotter by the minute. I can't believe how hot it is today. Wow. And it looks like the weatherman lied to us. It's a pretty clear blue sky. The only problem with the day is it's warming up even faster than I thought it would. Now, I'm sure all winter, while the temperatures are dropping down into the 30s, I'm going to be screaming and crying and wishing I had some of this heat. But that light-colored summer gear just is fabulous.
and the Michelin tire in the back and I'm always thinking that's getting near the end of its shelf life but it's it, it's handling this wet weather with just a few little times it kind of wanted to step out but didn't Boy, did this day turn out nice. If only we could dry up the roads a little quicker, everything would be very good. Yeah, it is very good. What am I talking about? I lied. Now I like to get three hours of exercise every day if possible. That would be my goal. Of course some days I don't. But three hours of exercise, especially on this bike, puts you in good shape. Now the R1 was the first bike I put a Sprox, S-P-R-O-X-X, -X, the rear sprocket super lightweight combination aluminum and steel and it is really good i've got and even in the sunlight some of the roads are still wet i'm really surprised it's really hot and the roads are still wet It's hard not to like this bike. It just keeps getting better and better. And I always look when I'm looking at it and taking pictures, I always think the time I spent doing the wheels and some of the other custom parts on this bike and making it comfortable for me, it all's paying off big dividends. Well, I am thoroughly cooked after three hours. This bike is just so much fun. Time seems to go so fast. Time for, to end my exercise and start drinking coffee. What are we cooking up now, my bride? No cooking. No cooking. I'll starve. How about coffee? Okay, I'm on board. Now, normally, I don't uh, really like to ride the R1 on wet roads, and today I didn't expect the roads to stay wet as long as they did, especially in the shade. But uh, we did have a couple little, little uh, with that back tire, and a. 
This is not a great bike to be riding on wet roads because it has no traction control. But it gives me a little chance to work on my wet riding skills. But boy, it's amazing how the lighter, less powerful bikes handle wet roads to me a lot better anyway. So I hope you did enjoy the video and thanks so much for watching. Now before the day ends, there's always one thing. When I come back from a ride where I'm riding on wet roads, there's always little dots of mud and dots of dead bugs and stuff. And I want to have the bike cleaned and ready for the next day. So what I usually will do after a day like this is just bite the bullet and detail out the bike for the next ride. It's just something I'm used to doing. And I spend the time doing it. I pay the price up front because... I know if you start to let a bike go, a 12 year old bike, if you start to let things rust and rot and go away and get corroded and then the bike gets unreliable and then you say, oh, I know it's so dirty. I don't even want to do it anymore. Oh, it's just, it just makes you crazy. And I always look at it like this complements the exercise I get riding. And I try to ride three to four hours a day, sometime a little less. But that's my exercise. That's the only thing that's keeping me alive. It's like the chewing gum holding my bones together. And, and it does seem to work for me. But I'm not sure it doesn't work for everybody. But if you're new to the channel, let me, let me just share the love of motorcycling that I have, the passion. I like to videotape my rides. I videotape all the projects we do. Hey, I even videotape detailing out the bike. Try to inspire people, and I have had several people already tell me, why. Well, yeah, now I'm shamed into, now I have to wipe the wheels off once in a while and grease the chain a little bit, and, uh, well, you don't know. We do try to do these custom wheel projects, painting projects, polishing. I do try to do them complementing the rides we have, and I do try to post up something almost every day. And I try to share the love I have for motorcycling, with the people and basically my friends and people that just like to tune into YouTube and uh, they enjoy watching the projects go on or they enjoy the rides. And if you don't live in this part of the country, believe me, this is a wonderful part of the country to go riding in. I'd say it is nine months of the year. This is just heaven on earth. The three months it's not. <laughs> Sometimes the roads are icy or covered with salt and we still get to ride some of that time. So I would say realistically, uh, you know, 10 months of the year, we're wearing out tires or wearing out paint guns or just wearing out our old bodies. I'm not so sure. Hanging out with people, editing video, which I certainly enjoy. And thanks so much for watching. And I hope we'll see you tomorrow.